Ay, tía, pero tú también eres de las tierras de los manches. Está mal. Oh, my God. Watch out. Okay. Mm. Ya, pues. Pollito en Bellas Artes. Hey guys, I am in my bed already in the hotel. We're in Mexico City. I didn't start to vlog when we were at the airport like I usually do, just because I was super tired and I was just like not in the mood honestly to vlog it. But I did kind of vlog a little bit of what we did today. Um, we got picked up from the airport and then we just went straight to like going to eat. And then we went to this theater um, to see Vaselina, which is like Greece. And my mom's always wanted to see it since she was like a little girl and she could never go just because they didn't have the money to. So it was very heartwarming seeing my mom like all happy. It made me very emotional. It was fun. I was just super tired, honestly. So tired of sitting down. I wanted to get out of that theater and like press forward like a YouTube video because I was just like okay okay I get it I get it because like they were just singing too much I was just not in the mood towards the end of the whole theater thing I was just like I want to go home then we went to go eat at this really nice restaurant that I think my mom was saying that Frida Kahlo's husband or ex-husband Diego Rivera he got married not to her but like to another lady and he rented out like the whole restaurant and had um, their dinner there or whatever and it was like super good like everything was delicious everything it was so good it was probably like the best food i've had in a really really long time and i don't know it just feels so magical being here in mexico city it's just there's so much history very very beautiful buildings and i don't know it's just so so cool to be in mexico in a city because like i always go to like small towns when i go to mexico so it's just very different and i'm happy that i'm here with my mom and my sister and my tia and my cousin it was super fun today, but I'm just so tired. I'm like so tired that when I'm ready to go to sleep, I feel like, I don't know, like I can't go to sleep. But tomorrow we have to wake up at um, 6.30. Well, I'm going to try to wake up at before 6.30 because I need to get ready and I want to like record my makeup and stuff for TikTok. And then I'm going to go downstairs around 8 o'clock to have breakfast. And the master class isn't in the hotel. It's in a different building. So my tia is going to drop me off. And then um, I'm going to be there from 9 all the way till 6. And hopefully everything runs smoothly. Because I remember from the last time I went to the class in Guadalajara. There was just no organization. And we didn't start till like 10.30 honestly. And like we were, we were just like all over the place. So I'm crossing my fingers. It's more organized this time. I'm gonna see Patrick Ta and Luis Torres and Cesar Mushi all in one masterclass, which is like, it's just like amazing. I feel so blessed to be here, guys. I honestly don't take it for granted. Every single night when I go to sleep, I think about how thankful and I pray to God like that he gives me like health. I just, I'm very thankful. Without mi salud, no puedo hacer nada, right? So, um, I'm just, I never take anything for granted. I'm always thankful that I can do this, that I am able to come here and bring my mom and my sister with me. I'm very thankful. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's morning. <laughs> I just done my hair. My hair is just curled right now in the meantime, and pinned back so I can do my makeup. And my outfit, I have to, I have to wear all black today. So this is the fit. I'm wearing some like really, really sheer black leggings, like pantyhose. And then this Amazon long sleeve that's like a scoop neck and a black blazer because I always get chilly. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. I just curled it just for the base, but I might just put in a ponytail because I know myself. And my makeup, I haven't done it yet. So we'll see how it comes out. Probably something super like normal. And I'm gonna wear some boots, but I have chanclas on right now. I just want to show you the view because it's so beautiful outside. This is our view from the hotel. Isn't that beautiful? A nice little smile from the sun telling me, it's okay, Gigi, everything's gonna be okay. My sister is gonna be my model for this class, but she doesn't have to get there until 3.30, so lucky butt, she's sleeping. And the bed is so comfy, super comfy. My mom is showering, but I'm still gonna have to get ready in this area so i'm not trying to vlog as much as i can without showing my mom <laughs> but i'm gonna try to film a tiktok and try to get here get out of here by eight because i told my tia we would meet each other downstairs to eat breakfast 
Hopefully their breakfast is decent. So this is how I'm gonna go. I think I'm just gonna leave my hair down and bring a liga so that I can put it up if I need to. But I'm like not as nervous as last time because I know it's just one day compared to like the other one where it was three days. I'm just a little like of course I'm nervous. Um, but everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I just. And also, Luis Torres is staying in the same hotel that I am staying in. So if I see him, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna melt. <sighs> but I'm so excited, guys. I'm so, so excited. Other than being nervous.
waiting for Patrick to come and critique some SSAs. This is still a little too far for me. anymore but I literally just got to my hotel room and I quickly took everything off and showered my sister's still in her makeup that we did but what do you guys think it was definitely like a really tiresome workshop I already had in mind that we were gonna be crowded but this was like another level because there were so many of us and every girl which is understandable wanted a a good quality time with Patrick Ta and with Cesar and the thing is that Patrick, I think maybe he's too new at this, but he was really just taking a lot, a lot of time on each person. And we were like there till eight when the class was supposed to end at six. And we started at 10, so you can imagine Mexican time, you know, it just kind of fucked everything up. But other than that, it was super like surreal that Patrick Ta and Cesar were critiquing my work. I, I finished a lot sooner than some of the people. So I was just like, am I doing something wrong? You know, but then I'm like, no, no, I'm fine. My sister looked great. And it just like really helped that my sister was like really good at modeling and stuff. So um, I told my sister, I think Patrick Tall came to us because he was like in the certain area of the room and faltaba mucho for us to like get critiqued by him. And I just like made sure I was standing up and my sister on the chair with the light to make sure he could see her. And like, I just smiled and I looked at him. I was like, hi. And then he kind of went our way when he came towards me. I was like, hi, how are you? Cause he was like, are you, are you guys ready? And I was like, yeah, yes we are. And I said it in English. So I think that kind of intrigued him to like, I don't know, come look at us. And Celeste did a great job. She was like this. I kind of recorded a lot on my phone, hoping that you guys could get like a feel for it. But on Honestly, it's just a mess. Like this is the the con of these master classes. If you're thinking about taking them, que tienes que pensar que because these classes are so packed, you're not going to get like the undivided attention that you think you deserve because you are paying a lot of money for these classes. But unfortunately, because there's so many girls, they're trying to you know go through you. Um, like okay, yeah, do this wing a little bit like longer and put a little bit more black. Okay, and then next. Cause that's how it was for my master class in Guadalajara with Luis Torres and all those other artists. But this time I felt like Patrick didn't really want that. Like he wanted, I, I think I heard him discussing with his assistants that they needed to like hurry up. And Patrick was like, no, no, no. Like something like he was moving his hands. Like he was, he looked distressed. Like saying that he wants to like go through all these girls and look through their work and all this. And I was just like, at this point, honestly, I just want the picture, but I can't really say anything. I'm biased because he went to me. Pero es lo malo de estas clases. Es lo que les tengo que decir. Y aparte de eso, Patrick no habla español y esta clase pues es en México. Y varias de las personas no hablaban español, I mean, no hablaban inglés. So they were kind of like butt hurt, you know, they were like, Hey, like I'm paying for a class that I can't even understand and it was just like really uncomfortable I honestly like was sinking into my seat because I was like oh god this is really 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 awkward because like Luis Torres was like guys like I'm trying to get him to like stop talking so much because Patrick would like talk and talk and then the translator would like try to summarize everything that he would say but it was like kind of iffy sometimes because like she wouldn't know a word in English for a makeup term and so it was just like, like a lot back and forth and you, you I could hear like little 
like little snickering going around the room like oh she didn't say that right or oh my gosh like why is she asking that question when they already asked it which does kind of bother me when people ask questions when literally he's saying the product and they're like what product do you use for that i'm like oh my goodness like come on girls get it together but that's what you, you know, have to expect when you're in a class full, full of girls. It, it set us back a lot because of the back and forth translating and, you know, it was just kind of, it was like, but I'm really happy that he did come to me and that both artists were really, really sweet. Honestly, they were both super kind and did look at my work very, very thoroughly. Like I could tell it, they were actually wanting to help me. And they were like complimenting Celeste's skin. They were saying, so your skin's beautiful. And I said, oh my yeah. God. I didn't say and that, then but. Patrick Tom was like, oh, where are you guys from? Because I spoke English to him. And I was like, oh, well, um, we're from Alabama. And he was like, wow, Alabama. I was like, yeah, but my mom is from here. So that's why I'm here. And I lo we love your work. And she's like, I, I love your stuff. I know. I literally fan Because girl. Celeste mouthed to me, like, because I wasn't going to ask him because I felt like I already held him in my spot for too long. I wasn't gonna ask him for more attention. So, um, so I was like, asking for the like autograph. And I, I was like- yeah, I literally <gasps> heard these two ladies like saying, oh, like grab your thing so he could sign it. And I was like, no, 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 we're gonna get there. We're gonna so, we need it. So, yo le dije, hey, like, can you sign our palettes please? And he kindly did. And look. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What I a know. dream. I saw people also bring this one up yeah. there when they saw him, but I'm like, nah. I just, this one is fine yeah, at least, yeah. right? But I love Patrick Tall. He's my favorite makeup artist, I think, so far. So this is like a big, big deal. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he was touching my face, guys, like, he was literally like, oh, like, oh, like, oh my God. Yeah, he was really close up and personal with I her. love you. But yeah, he's. <sighs> Definitely like very perfect looking in yeah. real life. A lot of these people are perfect looking. I, I like there were some girls that had fake chi chis and nalgas, and I was like, I look <laughs> like I a stick. I kind of got turned off by that. Like I was like, I'm glad I don't have like a. I know it just it, body. There, like. There's just like a lot of people here in, in right. these type of classes where they look super operadas and not like natural, and it's like, dang, that's crazy. Because like I don't really see that in my little town in Alabama. It's super rare that people even put chapstick on their lips so um it's kind of odd but anyways that is my little overview of what i experienced today but i'll see no nos dieron nada de comer so i was starving guys like this morning i already felt kind of nervous so i just had fruit and when i would drink water at the class i was like this will fill me up like no worries like i'm not hungry when i'm like in the work zone you know like when i'm working so i was like it's okay like hopefully this class will end around maybe seven no 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 it, we were there till like 8 30 and then my family picked me up and we zoomed out to the centro and we had actually a really bad experience at la casa de azulejos the server off the bat was super bitchy like she was just not in a good mood and my tia is a type of person who is very confrontational so she was like she was just she even called the manager and it was just really really bad because the manager didn't even say i'm sorry or anything and it's just like from the first moment we got in there the server would kind of ignore us and then we had to like get their attention to get our drinks it, it was just a whole thing um it, it snowballed pretty badly um but the building was very beautiful. I love the architecture of old buildings. It just like, it, it just makes me so happy because I love vintage looking things. Thinking about like people actually living in these buildings, it's just, it's just amazing. Like I can't, I can't even fathom living in a house like that. And like, oh, waiting for my carriage to get to me. And like, you know, it's just like, it's amazing. But I'm really tired. I'm going to um, put lotion on my face and I'm going to go to sleep because tomorrow we have another day. I don't have any more classes. It's just this day. Um, tomorrow we're going to have a touristy day. Mi tía me quiere llevar al Museo de Frida Kahlo y vamos a hacer muchas cosas más. Como ir al, al castillo de Chapultepec. Chapultepec. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering it. I will educate myself better on that tomorrow. But yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys along. Hopefully y'all are enjoying so far. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you what I got at the master class. And, okay, so the first thing is a water bottle. <laughs> and then they gave us uh, Luis Torres, it's his new collection. Wow. I think mom was going to like this a lot because she likes using these. The pen eyeshadows, they're really nice. I, sh I swatched them on me. Nice. They're very creamy. And then I got a rose water from this one Mexican brand. A lot of these are Mexican brands so that we get to know them better. This one's a 
a liquid lipstick. This is a cute color. By Thara. Sounds like Zara, but yeah, with an like, accent. Okay. She got a lisp. <laughs> and then I got some eyelashes. Um, Espinela. I used to have something from this brand from the last masterclass. It's micellar water. Skincare mask. Okay. Okay. And then we got a Moira eyeshadow palette. Okay. I think my mom is gonna like this because there's. Oh, oh my gosh. There's crazy colors in there. Wow, that's crazy. Let me. Wait, wait. Let me shine the light on it so you can see the glitter. Purpley color in there. Yeah. It's very really interesting. <laughs> very <laughs> Mexican. Eyelashes. Lashes. These are pretty. Nice. And then honey makeup remover wipes. Okay. LA glossy tint. Okay. 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 We got more eyelashes. More eyelashes. Wow. Okay. And then I got this shimmer. It's like a yellow color. Oh my god. What? Uh huh. Perfect. A scrunchie. It looks like me. It does look like me. <laughs> a doctor makeup. Hyaluronic acid, but nice. in spray. And then okay. there's another glitter. Then there's more glitter. Oh, okay. So this I did open up. It's a eyeshadow. It's like a blush topper. It's a pink highlight. This reminds me of the pink highlighter from Dior. And then an LA Girl Velvet Cream Blush. And then they gave this to like the first couple of rows since we are VIP. And they gave us a brush cleaner. Oh my gosh, a brush cleaner. That's Literally, so ironic. Patrick Ta asked for a brush cleaner. He said, you don't have a brush cleaner? <laughs> We're like, no. I didn't know. I didn't know. I got a primer for mattifying. Interesting. They gave us a Q&A chamomile calming night cream. Wow. Okay, that sounds nice. Sounds very nice. Can you smell it? It's like half. Okay, it smells like nothing. Yeah. It like, <laughs> no, it smells like something. It's really thick. And then they gave us a Jeffree Star what? cream um, eyeshadow and no, pussy whipped. Pussy whipped. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. Uh, it's a cream eyeshadow, I'm pretty sure. It's like a. He has it in the same packaging as his lipsticks? Yeah. I don't think this is a liquid lipstick. Well, lip, you know, I'm just saying. That's scary. They're all in the same. I know it should be a liquid Oh, eyeshadow. no, it's a liquid lipstick. Yeah, it says liquid lipstick. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we're definitely going to use that. Oh, yeah. It's like metallic. <laughs> I think I could use it as an eyeshadow, though. Yeah. It looks nice. Yeah. For, I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. This is not for my lips. Nothing else except for. Oh, my diplomas. Oh, my goodness. This was on the table. And they gave us like little notes for us to write on and face charts and what have you. These are the diplomas. Wow. Yay. Yay, two more to my wall. Yeah, literally. That's my haul. Por eso no me gusta ir adelante. Es mucha adrenalina para mí. Tú bebiendo, bebiendo el chis. Sí. Mejor me eche. Mi corazón, dime Rosillo, dime por favor. Yo ya estoy viviendo una... Wow, guys, look, we're at the castle. Stunning.
house is beautiful. You have to have like a special permit to take pictures and videos here. The sticker. Yeah, let me show the sticker. So if you ever come here, keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> outside <laughs> Good morning guys it is currently three something in the morning we have to be out of here by four because we have a plane to catch at 8 a.m. this is my fit it's just a princess Polly set that's like a top and a sweatpant thing and then this Mickey Mouse hoodie because it's cold here I'm ready to go home it's been a really really great week here it's just it's just time to go home <laughs> see my dog and my family and my boyfriend but I hope y'all enjoyed my vlog please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see y'all in the next one bye